Hey YouTube, today I'll be giving you a unboxing of the Kaweco Classic Sport. And let's get started. Here you can see the small box. You can kind of see it relative to my hand. It's a relatively small box for a relatively small pen. Here's a fountain pen preppy. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. Okay, so the box is very simple pretty plain, actually not pretty plain, just very simple and classy I would say. Classy, classic, Kaweco classic, I guess it goes with the theme. So let's open up this box. Just pull the side and here's the pen itself. It's very small it's what I was expecting, but it's actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Most of the videos, this pen looks relatively thick, but it's a small pen. It has that nice Kaweco medallion on top. And at the bottom, it looks like it's not a screw-on bottom. It just has that, that type of um, texture here. So we're going to pull it apart. Oh, no, it's a screw screw slash pull apart and this is the actual pen it has a gold, a gold nib I've heard and you can tell that this is the new once again I'll say the new Kaweco Sport because this feed well not the feed this back part I don't know what they call it on the old one is more pronounced on the new one as you can see it's much more slender and fits right almost right underneath the nib so this is the fountain pen at a first look, first glance. This is what it looks like when it's capped. So it gives it more garth when it's capped. Almost almost a normal size of a preppy. Oh wait. Of a preppy. A little bit smaller when it's capped. So when a preppy is, po uh, I should say posted. When a preppy is um, posted, it's about a little. It's actually significantly larger. So this pen puts the Kaweco is in the you know mini pen section, mini fountain pen. So you just screw it right back on, and then you have the nice Kaweco Sport logo. So this is just a quick look and an unboxing of the Kaweco Classic Sport and I should have the review up shortly. So I hope you guys all enjoyed and please like, comment, and subscribe for more of your fountain pen and headphone adventures. And one last thing, keep the right alive.